Welcome back to another episode of Skyblock, guys. In this episode, we're going to try to get a bed. <laughs> we're going to upgrade our cobble gin and uh, probably make a, uh, a better tree farm as well as some crop farms. All temporary manual stuff still just to, to establish our ability to get resources quicker, faster, and that way we can get more done in the future. So let's get started. Uh, with a little time lapse of gathering some resources and then we'll work on a not a mob farm so much as just a spotter farm so i guess technically it's a mob farm but we're gonna we're gonna get a spotter farm going and it'll definitely be a temporary thing just enough to get enough string to get beds or at least one bed and yeah let's uh, let's do the time lapse of that and then i'll explain what i want to do for the spotter farm all right, well, while this time lapse rolls, it gives me an opportunity to talk to you guys about why I want to build the Jetsons themes. Well, the Jetsons rebooted about the time, you know, I was a toddler. So that meant like cartoons while I was home, you know, not old enough to go to school yet. And it was something that I watched regularly. It was also something my mother watched when she was a kid because I, it was like 1962 when the original season came out and then it came back out again in like 1986, 87. And then they also, I think, did the first Jetsons movie in like 1990. All this is stuff that we could, my mother and I could connect on because it was something she watched. And it was also something now that was a big part of my childhood because it was a constant thing as I was growing up. I mean, yes, granted, there was only three seasons of the show, but it was like rerun, rerun, rerun. And when you're that little, I know very well from having a child myself that uh, the reruns, they get you, they get you there. Uh, you know, they keep you entertained and it doesn't really matter how many times you've seen this show. But anyways, that's kind of the thing. It's kind of some history behind it. So I, it's kind of a connection for me to want to do this. And so now you know a little bit about more about me. All right, guys, for this spider farm, I'm going to bridge out about 35 blocks. That way we can be far enough away while we're on the main platform to allow mobs to spawn and we're just basically gonna build a one tall by like 16 by 16 basically one chunk for the spiders to um, spawn in and then we'll be able to walk up uh, and have holes in them the spiders can track us and come down to a single end and we may be able to set it up so that the water is something we can take over there and flush the spiders to us but uh, I'll show you uh, once we get it done building. We're going to do a little time lapse of building it, and then I'll explain further how it works. So, unfortunately, we had our first death during the time lapse. I'm not sure if you can tell that or not, but yeah, this thing seems to be working. And all we need to do is let the spiders track us and then we can kill them here. So it's just a one by one space uh, in which, you know, it's, it's very rudimentary, but we can't be attacked by the spiders. We can get the XP and if we need to, we can break in here and grab the string. We may even have to cut holes in the other side to get them to track us over there. But this should allow us to be able to get some more strings. So what I'm going to do here is I guess I need to uh, 
put the holes over there like I said so we're gonna go ahead and wrap this thing on around to the other side maybe we'll put yeah we'll probably just put holes on the other side just so that we can have access on both ends without putting too much light in there and that should work just out work out just fine without us being killed in any way so the hole there ends here skip to there and yeah so we should be able to kill this guy and we can pop in here grab this string yeah now all we need to do is put some uh, some rails on here so that we don't die <laughs> anyways I want to do this until we have more than enough string to make the beds that we need or the wool that we need to make beds yeah and then uh, we'll have a bed ready and we won't have to be worried about waiting out nights anymore well it didn't take very long at all and we've got plenty enough wool here to make a bed that's going to get us really far <laughs> into this now we don't even need this farm anymore but we'll keep it up because we may need some more string here in the near future uh, but for now we're going to go ahead and just place down our bed uh, where over here i guess That'll work for now. And uh, yeah, that's my respawn point already set. That's pretty cool. I haven't played with that feature yet. Uh, but yeah, so what do we want to do next is we actually want to um, just basically move our cobble gin. All right, so the cobble gin is moved. I was going to show it on camera, but then I actually thought about the fact that I'm going to be doing a series of tutorial videos to go along with this. Uh, I need to do one for the spider farm and I need to do one for this. But basically our lava should be, where is it? Here, okay. Lava's here and it's up two blocks and then the water will be there, yeah. And the way this thing works is that because this is open uh, in several locations, like we're so close to this, we're actually gonna pick up about 90% of the cobble here. I mean, I don't have all the numbers, but the likelihood of it actually falling into that lava is pretty rare. As you can see, we're getting the majority of the cobble. In the situation that we had over here, uh, there wasn't a lot of places to go. It would bounce off this wall here. It was just kind of like forced in. The water was pushing in that direction, so it was highly likely for it to fall in there. And this is a setup that will actually accommodate having more than one player as well. If you have a server, you'll have two, uh, two players uh, with the ability to create cobble from the same lava source and from the same water source. So I'll be doing a video on that. It'll show a tutorial how to do the basic setup here, this more advanced one, and uh, a finally a more automatic one uh, for... I about fell in that hole for you know the advanced and more automated system so yeah so the next thing that we need to work on is actually getting our crops set up but in order to do that um, we need to have some more dirt and what we can do is we can remove a lot of this the important thing is that we rem remember that we have to have some grass blocks still and we can uh, we can let it spread as we take this down. I think we've got enough melon to get us by for now. There's a couple more layers below this, so I'm just gonna let it spread till its lowest point, um, and we will continue to move it. But we don't need to rely on just this dirt alone. If we take some of the wood that we have, we can create um, composters. And let's do one more of that. I believe that'll be the, yeah, the composter's half slabs here. And we can take our extra saplings and create some dirt. So let's do that. Let's put you, let's just put you down right there. Yeah, we're gonna take, and we're gonna leave half a stack of saplings. And we're gonna take 
our melons here and our sugar cane we're gonna leave say leave 18 of those and then we can turn all of this into ooh, melon farmer I, I should have had that already <laughs> um yeah we're gonna turn this into dirt and bone meal did we get a dirt I think we did Hold on. Got 17 let's try this one more time No, why is it not working? Huh, well, I'm not entirely sure why it wasn't working. Maybe it can't be saplings or melons because it worked with the, let's, okay. So it worked with the sugar cane. Yes, I don't know. Maybe it, maybe it has to be sitting on a dirt block. I'm gonna do a little research here, but I don't have enough. Let's do it with the melon again here. I don't have enough resources to waste the test just yet. Hmm. Okay, so we're gonna try the saplings again. Don't wanna waste them all, but. Maybe maybe it needs to be on a full block. It could just could just be that. I'm not sure. Either way, it's working. We're getting some dirt, and this is going to be how we get the ability to make another farm. Unfortunately, this means I'm going to have to uh, clear out as much as this as possible um, and save up for creating some more dirt to, to get our farms going. Fortunately, we don't have that many seeds just yet, so it won't need to be incredibly large. Okay, so we got this uh, down here. We've got some grass saved. We're probably going to save a full 3x3 three three here somewhere, and uh, our platform's going to end up lowering down a few over time. Again, like I said, everything we've built so far is temporary, and uh, I'm okay with that. You know, get get established, get the resources that we need, and then build some permanent things. So, it's gonna take a little time, but we'll get there. Okay, so what we're gonna do with this farming situation is because we only have one source block of water, we're actually gonna use the water from cobble gin that's flowing down. It's part of the reason why I let it just flow gonna drop down several blocks here and we're gonna create a tiered farm uh, where this water just flows throughout each tier and make the best of the resource that we have so we're gonna start here and then we're just gonna drop as far down the, that level down there as possible uh, but we got to be careful as well because we also do not have um, we do not have any lighting yet because we don't have charcoal or we haven't started smelting anything. So basically, we've got to be careful. <laughs> Just is long and short of the story here. So uh, let me just work on this a little bit and I will show you what I plan here in just a second. Okay, so I went ahead and got some charcoal cooking so we can light up the area down here. And we've done just that by throwing some torches on the side here. Hopefully that'll be enough. This is not the size. I want to do much larger than this. We can go out four blocks in each direction. So that's what these will be. But this is all the dirt we have at the moment. So I just kind of wanted to give you guys a visual of what we're looking at. But this is going to take some time to actually get everything we need going to fill up a larger farm. And again, this is going to be temporary. Um, so I don't want to go too large, but the idea here is to, as we grow in crops, uh, we're going to create another level lower than this for this water here to flow into and possibly the same thing on the other side, or these may just go, you know, parallel, um, one level down and just be even with this top level, if that's the way to say it. Uh, so you know what, we're probably going to do one last time lapse, um, to end this video of me. Uh, getting these crops and while we're waiting also probably uh, building out a platform for a tree farm 
so that we can start uh, getting more and more oak wood for the charcoal that we're going to need and just simply for the fact that it's going to provide us with resources, uh, saplings, and also apples and things to create more dirt because dirt is like brown gold. <laughs> All right, guys, we'll see you uh in the next episode enjoy the time lapse don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you're new around here and we will see you in the next episode